Hey guys, it's 7.4 day 2, trigonomic inverse functions. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started by finding angles. So remember from yesterday, um, we are finding these sides. So we're going to mark our angle like we normally do. This, this is opposite hypotenuse. So this, is, remember, is sine x equals 15 over 24 because we are trying to find the side x will equal sine negative 1 15 over 24 in our calculators and x will equal 38.7 number three marker angle opposite adjacent so tangent x equals 20 over 37, x will equal tangent negative 1, 37 over 20, and x will equal 28.4. All right, number 5, opposite, hypotenuse, so again it's sine, x equals opposite 40 over hypotenuse 41 because we're trying to find an angle x will equal sine negative 1 40 over 41 we're going to multiply that together and x will equal 77.3 awesome job you guys can you please do practice 2, 4, and 6? 2, 4, and 6. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. We'll go back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. All right, so we have our angle opposite. Adjacent hypotenuse, I'm going to cross out the uh, O. So this is going to be cosine equals 8 over 11. X equals cosine negative 1, 8 over 11. And we're going to get X equaling 43.3 degrees. All right, number 4, opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So we're going to do cosine again. So cosine x equals 18 over 23. x equals cosine negative 1. 18 over 23. We multiply that together and x will equal 38.5. Mark our angle, opposite, adjacent. So it'd be tangent, x equals 7 over 5. You're finding an angle, so x will equal tangent, negative 1, 7 over 5. We put in our calculator, we're going to get 54.5. Awesome job, you guys. All right, so I'm going to have you guys practice size and angles together. So why don't you start by doing 7, 8, 9, and 10. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. We'll go back, you guys. Let's see how well you did. All right, so in this case, we're finding a side. So this is opposite, adjacent. We're still going to be marking it the same. Solving it will be slightly different. So this would be tangent, 39. It's still O over A, so 11 over X. We're going to cross product. So I'm going to get X times tangent, 39 equals 11. So we're going to divide by tangent, 39 to both sides. We put 11 divided by tangent 39 
and x will equal 13.6. For number 8, we are solving on the uh, side because we have x on the um, outside, not on the inside. So we're going to do opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, so cosine. 46 equals, we do not have opposites, so it's going to be adjacent x over hypotenuse, 28. We cross product, x equals 28 times cosine, 46. We multiply those together, and x will equal 19.5. Number 9. We're still trying to find a side because the x is on the outside, so this will be opposite adjacent, so this is going to be tangent, 51 equals opposite over adjacent, 8 over x, we cross product, x times tangent, 51 equals 8, I'll put that one there, we divide by tangent 51 to both sides, We cross out, and x will equal, so we divide by 8 divided by tangent 51, and we get 6.5. For number 10, we mark our angle, opposite, hypotenuse. So again, we're trying to find the side, because the x is on the outside of the triangle, so this will be sine 24 equals x over 31. We cross product, so we're going to get 31 times sine 24 equals x. When we do that, x will equal 12.6. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it going. All right, I'm going to have you guys practice 11, 12, 13, and 14. 11, 12, 13, and 14. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Well, go back. Let's see how well you did. Our x is on the inside, so that means we're solving the angle. So opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. We put an x on the O, so this will be cosine. x equals 14 over 22a over h. x equals cosine negative 1. 14 over 22, and that will give us an answer of x equaling 50.5. Number 12. Again, our x is on the inside, so we're trying to find an angle opposite over adjacent. Tangent x, as so we have o and a. Opposite 25 over 78. Because we're finding angle, will be tangent, negative 1, 25, over 78, and we'll get x equaling 17.8. Mark your angle, opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. I'm going to put an x on the O because uh, we don't have a number on there. So... Again, we're trying to find the angle because the x is on the inside, so that would be cosine x equals 31 over 36, a over h, co x equals cosine negative 1, 31 over 36, which will give us x equaling 30.6. Moving on to our next example, again, we're trying to find the angle because the x is on the inside. Opposite hypotenuse, so sine x equals 10 over 19, x equals sine 
negative 1, 10 or 19. We solve, and x will equal 31.8. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, I'm going to do 15 and 17, 15 and 17, and when you're ready, uh, I'm going to go over 15 and 17. You're going to be ready soon to do the other two. All right, so I have a couple things that are going on. I want to find DE, but I need to find some more information to help myself out because I'm kind of, I need another Psi. Does that make sense? DE is what I'm trying to solve for. So what I'm going to do is make uh, DF, the Psi that they share, um, I'm going to put an X here. I solve that, and then I can solve for DE. So I'm going to really, it's going to take, I'm going to have to do math, uh, I'm going to have to find a Psi twice. So, opposite, adjacent. So x is opposite, so I'm going to use tangent, 61 equals x over 24. I cross product, x equals 24 times tangent, 61. I put in my calculator, and x is going to equal 43.3. So I'm going to kind of delete that for one second. So now I found this side. I'm going to make DEY, and I'm going to use this information to solve for DE. So now I found the common side amongst them to help me solve for DE. So I mark my angle 19, so this is going to be opposite over adjacent. So this is another tangent, so I'm going to say tangent 19 equals y over 43.3. I cross product y equals 43.3 times tangent 19. y will equal 14.9. And that is the value of DE. All right, number 17. A ladder leaning against a wall makes a 75 degree angle with the ground. If the foot of the ladder is six feet from the base of the wall, what is the length of the ladder? So a ladder is leaning against a wall of a building. I'm going to kind of make a wall of a building. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. There's our wall. All right. So it's going to form this right triangle right here. Um, it makes a 75 degree angle and it's six feet from it. How, what is the length of the ladder? Remember our ladder is what's leaning, that's our hypotenuse. So now we're going to f find the length, so it's like finding a side. So opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. I'm going to cross out opposite, so this is cosine 75 equals uh, adjacent 6 over hypotenuse x. We cross product. x times cosine 75 equals 6. I divide both sides by cosine 75. I cross out and x will equal, so I'm going to divide 6 by cosine 75 and get 23.2. All right. <clears throat> now you're going to practice and do 16 and 18. 16 and 18. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Alright, we'll go back. Let's see how well you did. 
what we need to do is find angle W. So I'm going to put um, a Y here because I need to find something first. So the one thing that they share is this side. Once I find that side, then I can use that side to find my angle Y. All right. So I'm going to start by solving for my purple um, X, the side. All right. So this is opposite. My X would be our hypotenuse. So I'm going to do sine 25 equals opposite 15 over X. I cross product. I'm going to get 15 equals X times sine 25. I divide both sides by sine 25. I put in my calculator 15 times sine 25 and X will equal 35.5. I'm going to get rid of my purple by putting 35.5. I'm going to use this information to solve for Y. So now, this is opposite, this is adjacent. So this will be for y, we're going to do tangent y equals 35.5 over 22. Ta y equals tangent negative 1, 35.5 over 22. We put in our calculator and y will equal 58.2 and that would be my answer. Jaden is flying a kite and jets off and lets off, well, jets off, lets off 275 feet of string. If the kite is 150 feet above ground and assuming the string is straight, what angle does the string make from the ground? So here we go. We have X, we have 150, we have two, I'm going to raise 275. So we have, so we're trying to find, so the uh, 250 is our string, okay, so our kite is like at the top of our right triangle, like think of that, 150 from the ground, all right, what does the string? what angle would be X? So this would be opposite hypotenuse. So this is going to be sine X equals 150 over 275. X equals sine negative 1, 150 over 275. We put in our calculator and X will equal 33.1. Awesome job, you guys. All right, I'm going to have you guys practice these um, <clears throat> finding sides, these four examples. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back. All right, so here's our angle. Opposite hypotenuse, so this would be sine 42 equals x over 25. We cross product and x will equal 16.7. Number two, mark our angle opposite, adjacent. So this is going to be tangent. 75 equals 12 over x. When we cross product, we're going to get x equals 12 divided by tangent 75. We divide and x will equal 3.2. For our next one, mark our angle opposite, adjacent hypotenuse. I'm going to get rid of my O, so this is going to be cosine. 36 equals 19 over x. When we cross product, we're going to divide 19 into cosine 36 and x will equal 23.5.
right, our next one, opposite, adjacent, we're going to get tangent, 53 equals x over 7. We're going to multiply 7 by tangent, 53, and we'll get x equaling 9.3. Awesome job, you guys. All right, why don't you finish up with our last four examples with finding the missing angles with trigonometry. Missing angles with trigonometry. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. When you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. Let's see how well you did. All right, so now we're trying to find angles. So we mark our angle, opposite, adjacent. So this will be tangent x equals 9 over 20. x will equal tangent negative 1, 9 over 20. x will equal 24.2. For example, 2, cosine x equals 17 over 32. x will equal cosine negative 1, 17 over 32, which x will equal 57.9. Okay, opposite, adjacent, tangent x equals 13 over 18, x equals tangent, negative 1, 13 over 18, which x will equal 30.5.8. Alright, example 4, opposite, hypotenuse, so this will be sine, x equals 21 over 28. x equals sine negative 1, 21 over 28. And x will equal 48.6. Alright guys, this is the end of today's video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me. Watch this video as many times as you need to practice and review this material. Remember, you do have an assignment online to complete. Stay safe and have a good day. All right. Bye.